All right, hello everyone. What a wild, busy weekend we've had. Please try your best to be patient as the new mandates are rolled out. For tomorrow, Mr. Muxler is going to put out a statement very soon that we are not requiring masks K-5, just so that you know that. We have conferences this week, and remember that we try our best to talk with every family, and there are more details with that below. Have a great week, everyone. First up, we have Mascot Mondays. Remember to wear your jeans and college gear tomorrow to kick off Mascot Mondays. And part of that is that you are required to talk about college or after high school plan options a bit with your class on Mondays. So if you wear college gear, you have to say something about your college gear. New furniture, thank you for your patience with the furniture delivery on Friday. The new furniture looks amazing and I'm loving the new room setups already. So I'm excited to see how our kids um, like those when they come in on Monday morning. Book fair, please take your class to visit the book fair during your library time on Monday. Um, that way the kids have a preview and know what they can purchase. Shopping will be Tuesday through Friday and we will announce open shopping times. I will share out some videos tomorrow with a tour of the book fair and also a reading of one of my favorite books. Add items to your wish list box in the book fair, please. Remember, these are just boxes on the counter and you just add a two or three, maybe even just one or two books that you would like um, from the book fair. And if families come shopping, um, then they might want to purchase you a gift. Um, let's try to keep it to no more than three books each since I don't know how many families will actually come in to shop at the book fair. Um, I will announce also some fun games that we'll do during this week too. <clears throat> RTI form, we need to do our beginning of the year RTI data. So typically we do this at a staff meeting, but I'm going to let you just fill this in at your convenience. So I made this into an electronic form that you can complete if you click on this link and open it up. This is a fillable form through a program called Script. And you should be able to just type into the fields and click right through it. Although my computer is being super slow, so it's not loading. Um, we'll come back and I'll show you that. But if you would fill that out, one for math, and then click on the link again and fill out one for ELA. Um, and please have this done by next week on Monday, the 12th. But you should be able to do it for each subject area. Conferences, remember to try to meet with all of your families to discuss student progress. Remember that with virtual students, you should already have been doing this. So you have been contacting them by phone or email. Remember it has to have been a two-way contact. If you've done that with those families, that's a conference. I would not have additional conference meetings with those families. Yes, you do need to have contact with them, but does it need to be an additional contact on top of what you've already been doing? Absolutely not. Please don't make more work for yourself. You do need to talk to them about your, their students' progress. So if you haven't done that yet in your weekly phone call, then make sure you do that this week. All right, my script looks like it's loaded now. So I would click on start. And here's my RTI form. So I'm going to complete this form. And it wants to know what my which teacher I am. So I would pick one. This is grade level. This is for math or for reading. Pick one. And then your question. Bright spots, areas for improvements, um, instructional strategies you're going to try out, and action plan of what you'll need to do and when. And then page two group name. So which students you think need the most help, observations and priorities, and which resources need to do that. So like we've talked about before, like you would put in here a group that maybe is already getting pulled for RTI, and you could say maybe they're getting um, phonics for reading support right now, or something to that effect. And will this group meet and for how long? What instructional plan to help students at their current placement and grade level? And then how and when will you check for understanding and overall effectiveness? So when you click submit, it sends it to me. So I'll be able to tell when you finished it by when you click submit, okay? So that's the RTI form. All right, back to conferences. Remember to share your our, our Title I parent school compact with families. So um, that's a requirement of Title I. So make sure that we share that form. Again, my computer's being really slow. You can pull that up. And then also, this is a YouTube video that I shared that um, described in detail what our title programs do. B 
be sure you either have a sign-in sheet or at least a list of times and days that you met with or spoke to your families. If you have any conferences that you'd like to sit in on, please let me know as soon as possible. And Michelle sent out a staff email with conference details and times. Our PTA will be providing subs, chips, and pop for the elementary teachers that afternoon, so you do not need to worry about a potluck. Here are some calendar items for this week. Count day is Wednesday, and then also some athletics. All right, have a great week, everyone.